When the military staged a coup in February, it cited electoral fraud as its justification. Leader Aung San Suu Kyi and other top officials were detained and charged with offences ranging from breaching coronavirus rules to corruption. Now, nearly 10 months after the coup, the junta has added election fraud to the list. Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy had won last year's polls by a landslide. International observers have said the elections were largely free and fair. Political analysts and Suu Kyi supporters say the charges against her have been trumped up. It has nothing to do with the rule of law in Myanmar. These charges is just show trial. Um, it is prolonging of military reign of terror against the people of Myanmar. Military authorities are holding Aung San Suu Kyi at an undisclosed location in the capital, Naypyidaw. The hearings against her have been opaque. Media, members of the public are not allowed to attend, and the junta has barred defence lawyers from speaking to journalists. Many analysts say the junta's intention is to ensure she stays out of politics. I think if the military decides to release her, drop the charges, or suspend um, the sentence or whatever distortion of the legal system they decide to do, it will be um, with assurances that she won't play a role in politics in Myanmar in the future. There have been sanctions against the military and those associated with it, as well as calls from the international community for the junta to release those detained. But the military has so far resisted all pressure. A local group that provides help to political prisoners says more than 1,250 people have been killed by security forces and more than 10,000 people have been arrested since the coup. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.